Swimmers along the Jersey Shore are under attack. The culprits are jellyfish, lots of them, and the kind that sting. But fortunately, some marine biologists have come up with a way to curb the problem. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranwell with more from Bayville. Cleaning up Barnegat Bay has taken on a new meaning in recent years. If the tail of the, of the stinging jellyfish goes across your face, you feel it. You go numb. It, it's really irritating. Divers with the Berkeley Underwater Search and Rescue Team are expanding their anti-sting operation to mitigate the invasion of the bay nettle, a type of jellyfish along the Jersey Shore. We'll use a uh, especially adapted commercial pressure washer, which we allows us to underwater uh, scrub the bottom and the bulkheads and go underneath the floating docks. Doing that doesn't kill them, but instead disturbs the nest so that bigger fish consume the polyps once they float into the water. The effort started in 2021 thanks to a $600,000 grant partially funded by the State Department of Environmental Protection. What we saw was a significant decline. Biologist Dr. Paul Bologna says waterfront development led to a rise in the jellyfish the last several years. He came up with the idea to scrub them away. Experts say newer floating jet ski docks and bulkheads are made out of PVC, which the bay nettles love to nest on. When their numbers go up, we ought to expect, and we've seen globally, that fisheries declines happen sometimes. Um, the other is lack of ability to enjoy the water. The volunteer dive team is now free to clean up other waterways in the area. A couple of my grandkids have gotten stung, you know, so. Yeah, they could be a nuisance. The dive team says donating will help speed the process along. Crystal Cranmore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.